Yep. Right, so again, just recapping, what I'm wanting is if the person's feet are in here like this, I, I certainly don't want them getting any sort of control on my armpits like that. The next thing is to make sure that my hands are not here, my hands are crossed slightly. Because when the person goes to attack, this is the hand that I want to use to defend. Because it doesn't take any energy for that to just be there and to use the, the webbing. Yeah? If I'm using this hand, you know, this, I'm making a circle and I'm inviting the person's arm to go around my prey. Right? So the first phase here is to make sure that the hand goes into my armpit. When the other one comes, it goes in the armpit too. Here, the next, he's going to keep coming like this. And I've got to make sure that I'm putting my hands up here. I don't want to put my hand, don't grab your gear. You like this because I'm going to make space. He puts the hand over my knuckle, under my throat, and he's still going to get it. Alright? So I want my hands open. I want to make my, my fingers like gills. You like this. Nice and tied up against making ramps. You like that. Then, if, the arm, if I'm making a mistake where I'm late and the arm does go, I have to go this way. Because the person here is always wanting to make his arm more bent. My job is to make it straight, but without using my hands. Yeah? If I turn my shoulders and I move this way, and you'll know which way to go because the hand is pointing the direction for me to go. So when the arm comes around, I know this is the See here, now the arm is more straight. And he can't bend it to put it around my throat without throwing himself around that corner. Yeah? So what I need to do is to put my shoulders on the floor here and lift my hips to ensure that this person can't get behind me. So from here, then I can lift my hips and walk through here. My hands low, preventing the mount, so it comes to the mount. Keep coming. And I can already start to escape the mount. Now this if I want. Right, however you like to escape the mount from there, you can do knee elbow escape, etc. Maybe the person will get the mount, and then you have to do the bridge and roll escape. So let's do that. So I'm around here like this. I'm late with the choke defense, so I'm moving my shoulders out. He comes to the mount, now this, and I retract the foot early. Now this, he's put the hand in my collar, so I'm going to hold the gi. Now this, you can hold the wrist, or make an L shape in the armpit. Here, big, nice high bridge. When I'm coming over, making sure I'm stepping on my foot. Now this, then I can take the hand under my lapel. Cool?